Hi, Nico with Popcorn Sunday Animation here. A little while back, Allied Artists Music Group hired us to produce animated segments for Rocky Kramer's Rockstar Music Video. Now that the video is out, I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes look at the animation process. The client wanted an animated character interacting with live-action people on sets, a la Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Space Jam. They supplied us with the live-action footage using a green screen actor as a stand-in for the animated Little Rocky character. I'd start by drawing the key poses over the live-action footage, exaggerating and enhancing the already excellent performance of the actor. For some shots, I'd rig and animate the character digital cutout style, as seen here. For other shots, we really wanted to take advantage of the expressiveness of traditional animation. So either myself or Platinum Ghost would take the key animation and in between it by hand. Here are a couple shots ghost animated. Once we knew the animation was working the way we wanted it to, either myself or Ghost would go back and clean up and color each frame. Next came compositing the animated character into the live action footage. For shots where the camera was moving, zooming in or zooming out, etc., I'd motion track the character in After Effects so he'd move with the footage. We didn't have a pass of the footage without the green suit actor in it, which meant simply chroma keying him out wasn't an option. Instead, I used a combination of the roto brush to remove bits of the actor that weren't hidden by the animation, and I used a regular brush or clone stamp to peek in parts of the background that were missing. Then there were the reflections. We had a lot of instances where the green suit was visible in reflective objects like the chrome in this shot. For shots like this one, I was able to get away with simply color correcting the reflections so they looked more natural. For other shots, it was more important that we see the animated character's reflection, so I'd work a bit more compositing magic to make that happen. This was good, but as you can see, the character looks a bit too bright and cartoony right now. More like he's overlaid on the footage rather than being part of it. To fix this, I'd use multiple layers with different blend modes and paint in shadows and highlights to match the lighting of the footage. I'd also match the film grain and color correct the character as needed so he looks like he actually exists in the same world as the live action characters do. And here's the end result. We're always on the lookout for opportunities to test our animation and VFX skills. So if you've got a project you'd like us to work on, please leave a comment or email us at popcornsundayanimation at gmail.com. Also, be sure to check out the full music video on Rocky Kramer's channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.